Into this episode of Under the Dip, I am your host TV Chips. That's me. I appreciate you tuning in. This month we have Try Treats, and actually, depending on when you're watching this video, I may have just done October's Try Treats box. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, check it out because I probably just posted it a day or two ago. I'm a little busy. Uh, but it, this came today, so I was like, ah, I gotta do this, I'm gonna get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out, get the video done ASAP, because it was very lax days ago on the last one. Like I said, I've been busy. So, uh, Try Treats. Uh, Try Treats is a monthly subscription where they send you a very, uh, a wide assortment of snacks from another country that you may then try. Hence the name, Try Treats. Uh, and I wanted to... Uh, I, I have been opening the box previously, but I wanted to show you exactly how this wonderful box arrives. Uh, in this very nondescript uh, paper-wrapped box, um, and all it says is treats on the box. So, yeah. So, like I said before, I've said before, my mail lady probably thinks I buy a lot of porn. Maybe that's why she's been delivering my boxes late. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So, anyways, let's open this bad boy up. I do appreciate that it is, um, you know, that it is wrapped up, though, because some of these boxes, I'm worried that they're going to get, uh, they're going to get legs and walk away, uh, when they're delivered, because, you know, they've got, you know, cool Batman and, you know, Iron Man logos on them and things like that, so, uh, this one does not have that on it, uh, anyways, but still, this is... Oh, that was... That was messy. Uh, anyways, so explore the world through food. There are two options for Try Treats. There is a bigger box that has much more snacks in it. And then I get the smaller box that's only got a few snacks in it. Uh, just because it's just me. And, uh, you know, if I had maybe a co-host, if I had somebody sitting here, or like maybe like here, I'd have to, you know, widen the table a little bit, then obviously these guys would have to move, but, uh, or these guys, depending on which side the person sat. Actually, it'd probably be just easier to just move them both, I guess, out a little. But anyways, if I had a co-host, I'd get the bigger box. Since I don't, I'm just getting the small box. Uh, but that's really none of your concern. So let's take a look and see. Uh, yeah, all right, let's take a look and see what's inside this month's Try Treats. Where are we jettisoning off to? Ooh, it looks like we are going to Israel. Shalom from Treats. This month's Treats come from Israel. Located in the Middle East, Israel is at once both an ancient and modern country. Its capital, Jerusalem, is one of the oldest cities in the world. At the same time, Israel is also a leading technology hub, possessing the highest concentration of tech startup companies in the world. I did not know that. Another fact you will soon discover, Israel has some incredibly tasty snacks. As you dig into your box this month, you will find a mix of some of the best snacks that Israel has to offer. Snacks you will discover include savory treats, such as Bamba, an addictively delicious peanut-flavored snack consumed by 90% of Israelis, and Biseli Falafel, the taste of a falafel in a chip. Ooh, I like falafel. Uh, you will also find refreshingly unique sweets, such as the Mekupalit, a thinly folded milk chocolate bar, <laughs> and Danuki Drages, cola flavored candies, and more. What are you waiting for? Dig in and enjoy. Bita Vaughn, BT Vaughn, Bita Vaughn Treats Team. So, uh, again, uh, the Treats uh, boxes always come with this, this really cool kind of postcard and a little message in it. And uh, this is just another beautiful. Uh, honestly, these pictures are absolutely gorgeous that they've been including. Uh, gives you just a little bit of an idea of what, where this box comes from. So let's dig in to the box itself. Now that we know we're heading to Israel for some wonderful treats and whatnot. Because when you think super tasty snacks, think Israel. All right, let's start out with uh, Bombo here. Bomba. <laughs> All right, it's got like a little... It's got a cute little kid on it. They look kind of like Cheetos. Uh, Bamba from Osum awesome is a crunchy, 
baked peanut flavored snack. It is enriched with vitamins, iron, and is free of food colorings and preservatives. Bamba is the best selling snack in Israel, and 90% of Israeli households buy Bamba on a regular basis. Again, apparently, Israel is not plagued by the peanut allergies. Just saying. I can't smell because I've got a cold. So I don't really know why I dug in and smelled that, but. Yeah, I don't smell anything. But let's see. Let's see how it actually tastes. Um, it's got kind of a, it looks like a, a really big uh, peanut butter kicks. If you ever had peanut butter kicks, it looks like a peanut butter kicks. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's very mild. It's like a, yeah, it's like a peanut butter Cheeto. Honestly, like a fluff, like a puffy Cheeto, a little bit softer. Um, and a real mild peanut butter flavor. That is really, really good. That is, that is actually really, really good. I like that. It's not overly, um, it's not overly like sweet or overly savory or overly peanut buttery at all. It's, it's just, it's just really, really good. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. All right, next up we have Basili Falafel by Osum. Again, apparently Osum is a big, uh, they're kind of like the Frito-Lay, I guess, maybe of Israel. Uh, let's see. Basili Falafel, or unique falafel Basili Crisps. Basili Falafel is one of the most popular Basili flavors. Crunchy and delicious. Experience the unique taste of falafel, one of the most popular foods in the Middle East, in a crisp. Again, I love me some falafel, so let's see if I love this. Oh, they look like, okay, all right. So this one kind of looked like peanut butter kicks, and these kind of look like, um, I can't think of the name of them. Like rice, no, not rice, like uh, it's a it's a cereal. It's like a brand flavored cereal. Uh, these little itty bitty uh, snacks. They look they they look like uh, little little fried onion strings, if you will. Um, all right, let's taste let's taste them. Let's see how they taste. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could go hard on these. Yeah. This is this is good. This is real good. Um, if you like falafel, these are fantastic. Uh, I would love to get some hummus and dip those bad boys in hummus because those nail the flavor. Absolutely nailing the flavor of falafel. I mean. Fantastic. All right, let's see what else we got. Next up, we have Kip Kef. Kip Kef. Chocolate bar by Elite. Feel like maybe I understand what this is. Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, Kip Kef chocolate bars are two long fingers of wafers, which are coated with milk chocolate. Where have I heard this before? The wafer of the Kif Kef is crunchy in texture and light in taste. The perfect complement to the rich flavor of its unique milk chocolate coating. It does not say unique milk chocolate coating. I don't know why I added that in there. It just says the flavor of its milk chocolate coating. But I added unique because I don't know. I don't know why I added unique. I bet I did. So we're here. It's happened. Let's move on. All right. So uh, everything about this uh, screams... Uh, Kif Kef, if you will. Uh, this is uh, clearly an Israeli Kit Kat. Um, let's see how it tastes. I mean, honestly, this is good. It's a little different. The chocolate profile is different, but you couldn't tell me that this wasn't a Kit Kat. Have you gave me this? I'd be like, that's a really good tasting Kit Kat. Like, that's a fresh ass Kit Kat. But it's not. It's a Kif Kef. So, do with that what you will. That tastes like a Kit Kat. You ain't fooling anybody, Elite. You ain't fooling anybody. Alright, 
Next up we have Be That was really good. That was a very good Kit Kat. All right, next up, we have the McCoupalet Chocolate Bar by Elite. The McCoupalet Chocolate Bar from Elite is thinly folded milk chocolate bars known for their thin flakes of soft texture. They've been produced in Israel since 1935. Fun fact, the word Mikulpet, I'm totally butchering this word, I apologize, means folded in Hebrew. So this says it's a chocolate log. So, yeah. All right, it's called a chocolate log. Let's taste what a chocolate log tastes like. Oh, that is weird looking. Okay, all right. So it's got a weird, I mean, it looks like a log. There, it's got kind of a weird, because I guess it's just little bits of, it's like, it's, you know, layered thin chocolate, I guess. So. It's not bad. It's a decent chocolate. It's not overly sweet. Um, it reminds me of the Arrow Bar uh, that I got in the, the UK box. Uh, cause it's got that weird kind of texture when you bite into it because there's a lot of air in it because of the way it's like folded. So it's got a weird texture when you first bite into it. It's almost like a wafer when you first bite into it, but then it melts just like a chocolate bar. All right, we're four for four so far. Let's grab the last thing in the box. This is the Cola Draggies by Panuki. I'm sorry for the pronouns. Uh, Israelis, I am sorry for butchering your language. Uh, Cola Draghi's by Panuki are chewy, button-shaped candy with a Mentos-like texture. One bite into a Draghi releases an explosion of cola flavor in your mouth. Okay. Weird, but all right. So it's like a Mentos, like a like a Coca-Cola flavored Mentos, I guess, if you will. It looks like a little piece of chocolate. All right, uh, all right, so we're four for four. Here we go. Here's the Cola Panuki, uh, Cola Draghi by Panuki. It's hard at first. I like the big Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. It doesn't have a great, it's kind of a weird aftertaste as I'm chewing it. No, 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 it started really good. Oh, no, no, no. It started good, but then it just got weird. It just got this weird, like, yeah. It, it just gets, like I'm licking the floor of like a, like a movie theater. Like, it just kind of, ugh. It's cola flavor, but then there's like, there's something underneath there that's like, no, 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 this should not be consumed by humans. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, no, that was, no, that was not enjoyable. Ooh, not enjoyable at all. Uh, the beginning part was good. If it just maintained that cola flavor, uh, uh, it would have been fine, but it got started getting this weird, I didn't want to go into it. That was just, ugh, that was just weird. All right, so uh, Israel, you are four for five in the treats department. They can't all be winners. Like I said, it wasn't bad at the beginning, but then it just, oh, it got awful. Um, if you like falafel or uh, peanut butter, like puffy things and chocolate, uh, these are these are all fantastic. If you ever uh, get the chance to try these things, you definitely should. If you are interested in trying try treats for yourself. Like I said, it's a monthly subscription. They got two different tiers. This is the small box. And this is like 15 bucks a month, I think. Um, and you just get a couple of different things. So, And they have a bigger box, which has like twice this amount for like 25 bucks. So 
Uh, definitely uh, a pretty cool uh, thing to do. So if you are interested, I will leave all of the information for Try Treats in the description below so you can try it for yourself. Uh, and you can enjoy something like this. And if anybody would like to try some Coca-Cola uh, groggies by Panuki, uh, uh, may God have mercy on your soul, because uh, it just doesn't go any long. I still, still have to taste my mouth. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up right there. Uh, and if you have not yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Uh, right over there. You can follow me on Facebook and the Twitter at TV Chips. And uh, yes, I will be posting all sorts of videos. Uh, uh, if you like this video, let me know what you think. Uh, if I should keep doing tri treats, maybe if you're interested in sitting right here, maybe one day. Let me know. We could we could hook up the big box. You could sit like right here, like right here. And then we just we would move out these guys. Then we just kind of like I'd slide over because this is a bench. I'm sitting on a bench this time. I'm not even sitting on a chair. Normally I'm sitting on a chair, but I got a bench now, so I can easily fit two people on the bench. And then like so we just move everybody to the side. It'd be fantastic. It'd be fantastic. It'd be a wonderful moment. It'd be a real bonding experience for us. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Ugh. Ugh.